Hello, I'm Talk of the Octopus, and tonight I'll be cooking your holiday dinner. Just for kicks, I thought we'd get medieval on Thanksgiving and boil a bird in a vat of hot oil. That's right, deep fried turkey. Why deep fry? Well, it's fun, it's flavorful, and boy is it fast. I can cook a 12 pound bird in just 40 minutes. All you need is a big deep fryer, a few gallons of peanut oil, and a clear spot in the driveway. Oh, uh, and a turkey. <laughs> Okay, who wants to play with their food? <laughs> Now, like any poultry, your turkey will enjoy a dip in a brine solution to help keep its meat juicy and flavorful. A quarter cup of kosher salt per quart of water, a big bucket, and a cool place to rest for a few hours are all you need to brine that bird. Brining a bird will make it more tender and juicy by trapping additional liquid in the cells before cooking. It's an osmosis kind of thing. Whip up a brine solution by using about one cup salt per gallon of water and completely submerge your bird in this for about 20 minutes per pound before cooking or flavoring with the rub. In addition to adding more liquid to the meat, the salt will make the bird's flavor a bit more assertive. Some people add additional flavors to the brine, an interesting idea, but a salt-only solution works fine. Let's talk taste. If you prefer the natural flavor of turkey with just a hint of something exotic, try slipping a spice rub under the skin right before cooking. Or, for a more traditional deep-fried flavor, you can shoot your bird full of Cajun marinade and let it soak overnight. When injecting, be sure to spread the marinade around by repositioning the needle, but try not to remove it completely. Fewer holes means fewer places for the juicy stuff to escape. The swelling is normal, albeit a little creepy, once you finish injecting your bird, let it sit in the fridge for at least an hour to soak up the punch. What? I see dinner is... Uh, little help? <laughs> Now that we've flavored our bird, it's time to do some deep frying. For that, you'll need a sturdy propane burner, a 10-gallon deep frying pot, 4 gallons of peanut oil, and a few handy tools of the trade.
If you're new to the game, there are kits available online and at specialty barbecue stores that come with everything needed to deep fry your holiday. Be sure your bird is completely dry before slowly dropping it neck first into the hot oil, which should be about 375 degrees. The temperature will begin to drop off, which is fine as long as it doesn't go below 325. While cooking, try to keep it at a constant 350. It'll take about three to three and a half minutes per pound to cook your bird completely. When the breast reads 170 and the thigh 180, your goose is cooked. I mean turkey. I knew I shouldn't have done this next door to a turkey farm. Congratulations, you just deep fried a turkey. If you'd like to try frying a bird in your own backyard, I highly recommend reading the detailed written instructions included with the show. And to learn more about the science behind deep frying turkeys, check out the Food Science Lab at eightlegged.com. Happy Thanksgiving! Oh, hi! <laughs> you guys hungry? That? That's one of those tofurkeys. You know, they're all made of tofu?